Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to compile the code for your mod. So let's go to the downloaded code. So that's the source SDK 2013 folder. Now in this video we're going to make a single player mod uh, for the episodic branch. So um, that is actually the same code as uh, kind of vanilla Half-Life 2. It has both projects in. So what you need to do is go into the SRC folder in single player and then double click create game projects .bat. And that will create a game solution. So then let's open that up. And then that will contain both the vanilla Half-Life 2 and episodic Half-Life 2 projects. So here we go. This is the client episodic, client Half-Life 2, server episodic, and server Half-Life 2. These are the ones we need to worry about. So we're building an episodic mod. So I'm going to hold control and select both of these projects and then right click build selection. Now this will take a while so I'm going to skip it in the video but um, if you were building vanilla Half-Life 2 uh, obviously you just pick client Half-Life 2 and server Half-Life 2 and what that will do is it will build some uh, DLLs into, uh, well it will create a bin folder in your source mods mod episodic folder and it will drop client.dll and server.dll in there and that will allow your mod to run. So uh, obviously in the future you can add code to this as well and you can edit how it works. Um, I'm not going to go into how to uh, add functionality to the code today but if anyone wants to uh, make a request for any kind of tutorials I'm open for doing that. Okay so as you can see that is our build finished. Uh, it has created client.dll and server.dll and everything was a success. So let's go back to the source mods folder uh, there it is, there's a mod episodic folder. Uh, as you can see it's created a bin folder and then if we go into bin we have client.dll, server.dll and some debugging symbols. Now they're important for development but if you're shipping your mod you don't want to be pushing out those PDB files. So let's go ahead and uh, open Steam go to my library. Now this is a semi-important step because uh, if you don't do this you won't uh, see any engine notifications that pop up because uh, there are some assertions that uh, tend to open when you start the, the mod after building it in debug mode. So let's right click this in Steam, click properties, click set launch options and then add SW W1280 H720 and that means I want it to start windowed with the width 1280 and the height 720. Let's go ahead and see if that runs. So this is the kind of assertion I'm talking about. This is just because you've built it in debug mode. Um, we can safely ignore this assertion. And there we go. There's our mod running. So in the next video, we're going to be looking at how to set up the mod with Hammer so you can develop maps.